Hello, this is Bloggers and welcome to Redstone for Dummies PS4. Today we are building a super smelter, which is right over here. Now this thing isn't too big and it's not too difficult to make. Um, ignore the uh, attempt at decoration, but uh, yeah, this is what we're doing fun stuff now you can build this as big or as small as you want but you do have to remember that with as many furnaces as you have you have to have to times that by three and that would be the amount of hoppers you'll need it's very very it takes a lot of iron it takes a lot of iron I mean that's that's five iron and a chest per hopper and well this one is 20 furnaces long which would take 60 hoppers quick math 60 hoppers not to mention the two that you need for the mine carts which were up here now I'll give you a quick demonstration just to show you what it does now fill in here Iron in here. That's not probably the quickest super smelt you've ever seen, but uh, ignore that. Probably ignore that as well. Like I said, it's not the quickest, but I don't think you'd need anything quicker in a survival world. It works pretty good. Um, it also manages to have a fail safe so if you don't have a certain amount of you know items in there that you need to able to send it you just press this and it'll kind of reset the system and for this build you would need chests furnaces hoppers powered rails detector rails normal rails some sticky pistons redstone repeater redstone torches Stone button, stone block of redstone, cobblestone wall, yes, cobblestone wall, minecart with hopper. It's a, actually, there's a pretty good reason why we have a cobblestone wall and not a fence post, but we'll get to that. Minecart with hopper, um, any type of building block, some redstone dust, and some redstone comparators. Now, instead of talking a lot of nonsense, how about we try and just get right into this? So, first of all, we will build the furnace, um, the outlet line. Okay, so, ba bam, ba bam, and that counts as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. 20 lines of hoppers. Now, on top of these hoppers, we're going to place our furnaces all the way along. Now, just also, like I said, depending on how many furnaces you are going to use, you'll have to triple that amount for the hoppers. So if you have 20 furnaces like you have here, you need 60 hoppers. If you want to build two stacks of furnaces long, you'll need the equivalent amount, obviously. Um, my math wasn't that good on that one, but you, you get what I mean. All right, so that's the output for the furnace is done. Now we need the input, which is just as easy as that, but incredibly time consuming. I should have made this smaller and scaled it for everybody else. All right. No, nearly there. Got it. All right. Nice. Uh, so that would be the um, smelt intake. So whatever is going in to be smelted. Back here will be the fuel intake. Mm. Duh. Duh. Got there. We got there in the end, but we, you know. We got there, all right. I did not grab building blocks because I'm a dummy. 
All right, so this is when, really, pick it up. the fun begins. So by this point, you should be looking like this. There's nothing too difficult so far. In fact, this whole build isn't difficult at all, even though I might stuff up once or twice in this video. So it's bound to happen. Okay, now we want, do we want that? No, no, this is the end. Never mind, let me, uh, yep. Bam, okay, so this is where Alpha's, um, the minecart will come and go back. All right, all right, so. Now we just place all of these on top of the hoppers, like so. And yes, don't forget the crouch place, very important. Now over here, I'm gonna have something a little similar, but if we, where am I, over here, if we look over here, you'll see that we have to go up a few more. So that's one, two, like so. And just repeat it on the other side. Ta-da! Um, okay, so I'm going to finish off placing them on this and I'll come back when. Alright, now that is all done right there. As you can see that these are powered minecarts go straight in this block which will bounce it back to the original position in which it will be standing now. This is when it gets a little bit fruitcakey, having um, you know rails next to each other, but not wanting them to join. Um, if you know a trick to that, by all means, go ahead. I struggle with this every time. What you want to do is you want to go. Uh, yep, normal rail, detector rail, and you want the detector rail up here. So you just shut that off like so. Uh, and then you want to try and do that for the other side. This, my friends, might be hilarious. Oh. Oh, nailed it. All right, like that. One. One. Now, right here is where chests are going to be sitting. Right there, just like that. Yeah, everyone everyone cool with that? Alright, no worries. All we have to do now, well not all we have to do now, but what we're going to do now is just place some redstone blocks there and there. As you notice, that I didn't even try and calculate where they should go. I normally just put them anywhere. Now, if you put them here, it won't power that any reason at all. I have no idea why that why it does that. Uh, so you could just do that and then do that, and you should be fine. Um, the best thing about placing it like that is it will power these rails as well as these rails, but these hoppers won't lock which is fantastic and exactly what we need. Now, so far, that is pretty much the easy part done. Um, so now is when it starts to get a little convoluted. All right, so what we're going to do now is we need my cut will be sitting on this detector rail here. But we can't let it go. Alright, so that we're going to do a little 
something something like this in which I'm going to need oh I don't need these anymore don't need the hoppers no I'm going to need that later but we'll come back for that all right so now we're going to need all these other goodies that and that and I'll take the button as well I got the button all right all right so we're going to show you how to do it on this side and it's pretty much the exact same way on the other side I guess we'll start with the redstone torch all right so place a redstone torch here sticky piston facing towards the um the track now on that sticky piston you're gonna place a rail uh, <laughs> oh my god uh, I call the wall cobblestone wall or any type of wall I guess so you do this the wall is actually the thing that's going to stop the minecart now the reason why we use the wall instead of the uh, the fences here is because the fence actually grabs for some stupid reason grabs the uh, the minecart and pulls it off the track and it just it just doesn't work does not work so wall you'll see a glitch but I haven't had a problem with the minecart other than that so the wall it is so if we put a minecart on that tada take away the redstone torch quickly place it back and there we go simple as that now from this side we're going to put a comparator facing out with one three let me double check that it's one it's two and then a repeater okay Good thing I built it earlier, right? Two, then a repeater. Now, this setup is just, you can change the timing all you want. Go for hell, play, practice with it. It's really up to you. This is just the way I prefer it. Okay. Now, you're wanting to bring that out one and drop it down. Like so. Bring that. No. I done messed up. I'm gonna bring out two and drop it down. All right. My my bad. My bad. Oh no. What have I done? I think I done messed up again. See you one sec, guys. Let's go have a look at this. How do I do it? Ah, nice. Okay. There we go. That looks better. There we go. Yeah, heaps better. All right. Obviously, that block isn't needed, but you know. So, Peter will take the redstone uh, out of this block pump it into this block and then this little repeater will pump it into this which will turn off said torch which will allow the thing to fire now that's it for the redstone no, you don't need that you don't need that oh almost forgot um yeah this so the reset button obviously so if there's like a miniature amount, okay, so when this hits 23 items in the minecart, it'll send the minecart. Now, I'll, don't ask, I just, I just prefer it that way. Um, you can change it to however you want, it's playing around with the redstone, single strength and stuff, but yeah, anything left over inside and you just want all of it out, like say there's like two or three pieces left, just hit the button. Send it on its way, it'll put the rest of it and end up in a Z chest. Okay, now this, what you want to do is copy this, exactly mirror it on the opposite side up here. Now, when, uh, I'm going to pause the video and build that quickly, and then we'll get back to you after that's done. Okay, welcome back. Now, I've completed, and it's something I did actually forget to say 
But remember on the, this side, the side that it's up one, all this has to go one block up, technically. All right, see how, see this works here? It's one block up because of the, you know, it's the same way, but, you know, it's, it's one block up. Now, you can test this if you wish by pressing the button. It should go down, it should come back, it should go down, it should come back. Okay, now we are going to test this bad boy out. Alright, let's put two blocks of dried kelp in here. There's one pass, there's a second pass, there's a third pass, is that, I'm pretty sure, and there's 17 left over, let's just get rid of it all shall we, hit the restart, oops, and that's now empty, alright now, so the same with the Iron. Let's watch a ladder. What? Oh, that's hilarious. Alright, so I, I tested this before I recorded and um, I stupidly put the wrong blocks in the wrong thing and then um, forgot to clear it up. So that was kind of disheartening to see but as you can see it, it does work if you don't mess it up you know most of these do have the same amount um, you will find that some furnaces will either have yeah obviously it already burnt through it will either especially the ones at the end um, I, I don't know why or how because it's mostly these but it's not always the same ones um, I have noticed it does change that up from time to time but that was what, two stacks of iron and what's that that's one stack oh and give it a sec it's got to process and keep going keep going 42 43 44 it might not like us looking at it yeah, obviously closer to the end it starts slowing down a bit because because of that problem I just said. Um, you probably could find more efficient ways, maybe if you change one or two of these rails into just a normal rail, just to slow it down. Maybe. Maybe that could work. Yeah. Because, I mean, not stuffing up the beginning might help as well so obviously that paid a part in this as far as I can tell that should be close to done did I put did I put a full ah oh, did I ah oh, you're an idiot alright alright let's just let's just do it there we go Reset that, and that should be empty. Sure is. Give it a couple of seconds, and here it comes. This should be two stacks. And 64, perfect. There we go. All right, now, you can decorate this as as, as good as you want. Like I said, this, this is my attempt. A bit of a decoration. It's probably... Something you could be do a lot better out there. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's it's pretty pretty easy. A um, little bit of stuffing around here, but it's nothing too difficult. Um, the comparator, um, there's a detector rail here, obviously that the minecart sits on. The comparator registers how many items are sitting inside the minecart, which then pushes the redstone signal to this redstone repeater when it hits a certain amount of blocks because, you know, of how much dust we got here, that's 23 blocks. Now that'll send the signal down and around, which will 
open up the piston which allows the minecart to go and when the minecart comes back it glitches through the wall which ends back up on the, the um, detector rail same with this side no. oh, let's not make that mistake now if you watch carefully now because it's a hopper minecart it sucks items out real quick I mean, look at that that's awesome go again I think it'll go one more time nope that's it alright so pop that baby down and get rid of all that yeah fairly simple um, and yeah that's pretty much it thanks 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 for watching guys um, if you want any more type of redstone tutorials on PS4 because I know there's not a lot of PS4 tutorials out there um, and that's pretty much the reason why I started doing this in the first place because I got sick and tired of going through a whole bunch of different farms just to find some sort of mechanic that would work on the console edition and it annoyed the crap but Jesus out of me so I decided um, you're not allowed to swear not allowed to swear anyway so yeah um, any ideas for farms shove it in the comments below I'll get to them eventually I do have a life <laughs> anyway yeah like share subscribe just do it you know you want to but wait there's more um, what I was going to say you could also change it up I mean you smokers and your blast furnaces I mean shoving stuff like this is gonna obviously double the speed again on top of that I mean that's 20 furnaces and uh, a blast furnace or a smoker will cook said items twice the speed of a furnace so technically having 10 blast furnaces would cook iron at the same rate as 20 furnaces does that if that makes sense and same with food so let's say if we will go to let's put some more fuel in this bad boy I'm sorry that's just satisfying to watch and then let's say for you know compliance sake we shove some ore in here you blast furnaces are going crazy it should cook just that alone should cook at the same rate as um, you know your normal furnace is having 20 of them so you could get away with making only 10 smelters or 10 smokers but in saying that I mean obviously don't put them together like this that was that was kind of stupid of me but um you'd obviously build them separately the that, that, that's that, that's funny but you see what I'm getting at I mean you, you, 10 of these would pump out the work of 20 because they're twice as fast I mean you do use a lot more fuel fuel goes through quicker but you're getting the same amount you're just getting it quicker you know what I mean so yeah handy handy Handy. Now, 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 I'm going for now. I'm, I'm going for real now. Bye, bye. Like, like me. Share me. Subscribe. Do it. Do it.